I'm tired of this quarantine blues. It's time to break out of the house, load up my bug out moto van with my motorcycle and stuff, and hit the road. Let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. For those of you guys that want to see the full tour that I did on this Bug Out Moto van, I'll include the link in the description and comment section of this video. And if you want to do a van build yourself and you want to get stuff that I use to build this van, if you go to my website at CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Van Stuff, that's links to all the stuff I use to build this van. And by the way, the cost of the van and the build was less than $10,000, guys. And this is a Chevy Express 35. 500. This has got the biggest V8 engine in it. It's a one ton van, guys. Absolutely amazing. This thing drives as smooth as my Lexus, man. I love this van, guys. I think everybody should have a bug out moto van because I tell you, if things get bad and you, you say you lose your house or you get kicked out of your apartment or whatever, it's nice to have a van set up like this where you can go live in it and live off grid and save a lot of money and enjoy having a good time out there too, man. I've been on two bug out van trips and I had an absolutely amazing time. If you want to see the playlist on all the videos I did on my last two trips, that's also my website at cyclecruiser.com. But it's time for me to get the heck out of Dodge, guys. I got to get out of here. I'm tired of being in quarantine. I'm, I'm putting my house for sale, handing the keys over to the realtor, and I'm getting the heck out of here. I told you guys that I want to go check out North Carolina, uh, the, the Smoky Mountains area, because I plan on moving possibly moving down there but i want to check out the area first so that's going to be my first bug out van trip down there live in some rv parks down there just see how it is down there go to stores and, and and check out some properties i'm looking for anywhere from like maybe 10 to 30 acres with a house and uh, i like i'm going to share the full experience with you guys i'll do videos in the area and uh, just Hopefully have a good time down there in North Carolina. Hopefully I like it. But there's some other areas I want to check out as well. I want to check out uh, northern Georgia, the Georgia Mountains. Um, a lot of you guys tell me it's awesome down there. But also I want to go check out Utah. Just head out west, northern Texas. Um, I'm going to check out my family out in Oregon uh, and Washington, the state of Washington. Just have a good time on my trip and share the experience with you guys. Um, I'm thinking about adding a, a utility trailer to tow with the van, um, a small one where I can put my bike and gear in. That way it'll free up some space in here. Because um, I hate, actually, you know, it's awesome being able to park my bike inside this van and have it with me. But it's it's a really pain in the butt to, to pull the bike in and out of here. This this bed does go up. I know for those of you guys that don't know this van set up, this van, this bed goes up here and allows me to bring my bike in and out. Um, and I have to, every time I pull it in, I have to put a motorcycle cover on it um, because otherwise I get that motorcycle stank inside. So that's really irritating. It'll be awesome to just have a trailer where I can, a small utility trailer where I can roll it up in there and, um, and that way I can have more space. So we'll see how that works out. I had actually even thought about doing another bug out moto van build with a new 2024 transit all wheel drive extended van with full roof height you know the tall roof and turning the back portion of the van a small portion of it into a garage area where I'll have my supermoto turned sideways that way it takes up less space stored with all of my gear and stuff and it's separate from the living quarters um, because you know my supermoto is so lightweight it's only 265 pounds so I can easily just pick it up and turn it sideways and put it in the back but I really don't feel like doing another van build to be honest with you it takes a lot of blood sweat and tears and time and honestly, I just want to hit the road now. But in the future, I'm, I'm thinking seriously about doing another bug out moto van build. When maybe hopefully I'll get motivated in the future. But for now, it's about planning my trip to head out on the road. A lot of you guys ask me about buying a new motorcycle. I put that on hold because of the pandemic. Honestly, I can't think of another motorcycle to get right now, though, man. I love my supermoto so much. But I'm thinking about maybe adding a Yamaha MT-07, possibly. Um, 
uh, I don't know there's so many cool bikes out there but honestly I really don't want another super bike for the streets I've had you know three of them and I tell you I'm tired of getting tickets the cops love to give you tickets on those in the last you know in the last ticket that I got on that Aprilia Tuono that I had I got for doing 30 miles per hour over in the park system and uh, man I, that could have been really bad for me guys but I got my better call Sal attorney and he reduced it to a non-traffic moving violation zero points and uh, phew. but I, I'm tired of pressing my luck with super bikes because all you can do on those things is just speed just you know and I, I'm tired of I have way more fun on my supermoto just busting wheelies riding up staircases and doing donuts off-road messing around here and there and it, that's fun to me man you know and cops don't bother me on my supermoto any superbike I had they always would tell me or just wait for me to mess up man so I, I, I don't want to lose my license <laughs> so any super bike or super sport I get in the future is going to be relegated to the track only man maybe I get one and cruise around the street a little bit here and there but it'd be mainly for the track but that's in the future right now I'm just focused on getting the heck out of here so I just want to give you an update guys and let you guys know what's going on with me but hey guys leave a comment below let me know where are some good places to live this is really about a tour in my van to find a place to live in the future I have nothing holding me back here in, in Ohio anymore um, I'm you know I can do I'm free to do whatever I want go anywhere I want and buy whatever I want I got it like that and it's good and I'm ready to roll man but I want I want you guys to leave a comment let me know with some great places maybe I I should go check out to live but North Carolina is at the top like I said um, so that's gonna be the first place I'm going to so like I said stay tuned for my trip my future bug out van trip series and I'll be doing motor vlogs in various locations throughout the United States so stay tuned for that guys uh, love talking with you I look forward to conversing with you in the comments uh, don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel and also subscribe to my other channel bug out moto Till next time catch you guys later deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel bug out moto where I customize a van for my motorcycle So I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere Subscribe to my YouTube channel bug out moto